Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews, Skype interview and review with Ryan out in San Diego, better known as Stumpy Joe Jr. How you doing, Ryan? Good, man. Thanks for having me. Yep. And we're drinking a beer from your neck of the woods. This is Stone Levitation Ale. Um, I've never had this beer before. I, when I picked it up in the beer store, I saw in the corner it was only 4.4%. I was like, yeah, it must be missing a digit. No. <laughs> No stone beer is that small. Yeah, this is their uh, sort of daily drinker, kind of Stone's version of a, a session beer. Yeah, It's it's pretty much like their take on a British-style session beer, hence the 4.4%, except with Stone, it's uh, a little more hoppy than you're going to find with a lot yeah. of British-style beers. The website says it's about 45 IBUs, which is uh, getting up there for uh, yeah. such a low ABV beer. And it's uh, right before we started off camera, you said look at the expiration date. And yeah. Mine actually, it says best by September 20th of last year. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, mine's uh, uh, January, March 28th, uh, 2011. So. All right. Well, that'll be interesting to compare the yeah. freshness. So, you want to get cracking in here? Yeah, let's open this thing up. And just to let you know, for uh -oh, Stone, uh -oh. I think for their hoppier beers, uh oh, for the Stone's hoppier beers, they uh, they're the best after date is three months after it was bottled. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. We had uh, well, I had a mess of a bottle there. As I said in the intro, it was beers are either old. So I don't have anything that that would have much to do with it. But uh, the differences in color, I mean, mine looks brown just kind of mahogany yours looks more of like a ruby red yeah it's got a little orange to it some red maybe uh some darker kind of brownish uh tints to it as well yeah how's it smell uh, i mine mean it smells pretty good I, I do have a pretty fresh bottle yeah i mean mine smells like it smells like hoppy iced tea hoppy iced tea hmm yeah, maybe a little bit of that. I'm getting um, just uh, some some real kind of earthy, uh, uh, kind of a little bit of pine in there, kind of smelling hops. But then there's a little for me. I get a little touch of uh, citrus. Yeah, so I definitely I get like a, a lighter pine kind of scent. Uh, yeah, and like it smell it smells more like iced tea than it does like citrus or something. But, yeah, I'm uh, getting some bre some kind of bready kind of malt undertones to it as well yeah all right you ready to dig in here yeah cheers. cheers hmm to, for me it kind of tastes like how it smells it tastes like a hoppy iced tea it's um uh, i can see where they're going with the british kind of thing here Mm -hmm. Kind of like a ESB American style. Yeah, I think I think that's kind of what they're going for as well. I mean, this is much more hoppier than like a typical British ESB. But um, yeah, it's got some really nice kind of hot notes up front, and then it goes to that kind of pretty British kind of bready fruity kind of malt character. Yeah, mine's a. Uh... Mine's not very robust. Probably that has to do with uh, the fact it was an old bottle. It's so, like the hops probably faded away. But there is a, there's definitely a distinct American hop bitterness to it. You can still tell. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a light. I mean, to me, it's a light body beer as well. Um, I mean, if anything, this is Stones. You know, this is their light beer, so to speak. Yeah. Because um, the mouth feel is it's on the light side, and you do could kind of get a is it very is yours very drying? Mine's pretty a dry beer, and um, I kind of not really probably because it's old and the hops have rounded out, you know. But for me, I got a lot of hop front, the hop bitterness up front. Well, actually, not too much bitterness, just a good hop character. And then for me, it's like quick on the palate. It just fades away really quickly with the malt notes. Sounds like it's held up pretty well. It's probably the amount of hops they put in there since hops are a natural uh, preservative in beer. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's only 4.4%. That's only like yeah, that 0.2% higher than Bud Light. <laughs> right, exactly. It's it's um, it's a good refreshing beer. It's very kind of quick mouthfeel. Not too complex, but it's got enough for me variety in terms of the hop character, which they use. I, I looked on the website. There's four. They're using four different varieties of hops, and then... yeah. It's got a nice kind of British style malt uh, undertone to it as well. So, what kind of maltiness are you getting? Are you getting like biscuity or like bready? I'm a little on the bready, and then I get a little uh, a little caramel in there as well. I don't really get much malts at all. I, I mean, there's a slight sweetness, kind of like that iced tea kind of taste to it. As of this drinking right now, I would probably give this a seven bordering on an eight but uh it's not quite that good I'd like to get a fresh bottle and see if there's a difference yeah i think they had mine because mine was bottled um a little less than a month ago so yeah pretty fresh yeah now does yours taste like like more of like a straight ipa no it's definitely not it doesn't have that uh smacky of, of bitterness up front it's it's very mellow, um, and the malts do kick in. The hops it, it has a little hop character, but not a lot of bitterness like an IPA. It drinks more like a like a pale ale, even though it is 45 IBUs. I yeah. mean, that kind of it's like a lower ABV version of kind of like Dale's Pale Ale, which is kind of yeah. more yeah. borderline IPA. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's good. Um. Yeah, definitely seven out of ten. For me, what are you thinking as far as grade? I think I'm gonna give a solid B. Um, to me, it's a it's an above average beer. Um, there's I've had like if you want to just compare it to regular pale ales uh, around town, that's it's. Uh, I mean, Stone does make their own pale ale, right. um, but this it's an above average beer. It's got um, nice hop character, but I think um, a little lacks a little bit in the uh, in the malt character. Yeah. Now that I've had a, some, you know, you, if you drink some of those really nice English beers that are at this alcohol percentage, it's really amazing what kind of uh, malt character they can get out of them. And this doesn't quite have that complexity of, of the, the English style ales. Anyways, thanks to Ryan Stumpy Joe Jr. for doing this Skype review with me. And stick around because we'll be doing an interview. So, uh, that's what about wraps it up. Cheers. All right. Cheers, Shannon. Thanks for having me. Yep.